Anyways, that's all I want to say. Thank you for this video. No, I'm just joking. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. What's up, you guys? What's up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm chrissy danielle if you did not know if you are new and you've never seen this beautiful face before please leave a caterpillar down below so i know that you're new and if you've been here for a while you already know leave a butterfly boo and i got some butterfly merch on my website so if you want to go grab some go do that for today's video i'm just gonna be talking about my experience with how to start a business i'm gonna ask you some questions i mean you can answer them or just listen i'm gonna also answer them myself with the experience that i've had with these specific questions like if someone were to ask me these questions i'm going to give you the answers let's get started Started. First, I want to say that my business that I have is called Soul Serenity. I just sell lashes and lip gloss, but we will be expanding really soon. I'm super excited. I just wanted to start off with something cool, simple. You guys seem to love it. So make sure you go shop if you've never shopped there before or if you ran out or if you want some more. Go shop down below. It's always in the description down below in all my videos. Yeah, and I'm wearing extended right now. They are currently, as of two days, sold out. But I did order more inventory, so they will be here soon. But for now, they are sold out again for the second time. I have a list here of stuff that I want to talk about because I wanted to make this video worth your guys' time. So I don't just wanna talk off the top of my head and then it's all over the place, but we are going to talk about everything on this list. This is all must have information that you should have to start a business. A lot of people don't know or don't know where to start. So these are kind of like some tips of first things that you should do when starting a business. I personally started doing my research and everything back in February of 2020 and I just launched it in December. So the first thing I wanna say is do not rush it. If you're really into this and you really want to do it do not rush into it don't just buy anything don't be making your website public and then make it private because it's relaunching which is not a problem because that probably sounds bad but just try to have it all together the first time around because it just looks super professional it took me months months to figure out how i wanted my website i've tried multiple different things just take your time with it you guys see i'm balding do you guys see that i'm i'm like legit balding y'all it's okay though i'm i'm trying to work on it i might just get like a surgery or something just kidding so the first question that you want to ask yourself is what do you want to sell and why so you could sell anything literally anything you could do diy stuff like if you like to do stuff at home lip gloss makeup jewelry clothes purses airpod cases phone cases you can literally do anything that you want but you want to make sure that you're interested in it if you are not interested in what you are selling you're not gonna want to sell it and it's not gonna do good so make sure that you pick something that you are really interested in obviously I'm interested in lip gloss and lashes I've been wearing lip gloss forever literally since I was little I used to eat the lip gloss when I was little actually but if there was one thing that was in my purse it was always lip gloss I just recently got put onto false lashes not the extensions I used to wear the extensions for a couple years but then it started breaking off my lashes so I just said forget it and I just got put onto lashes probably in the last year and I love it make sure that it's something that you definitely want to sell and that you love yourself you want to love it yourself too so is this gonna be long term or short term so this is not really so much of an important question if you are planning on it being short term and then it turns into long term cool but if you want it to be long term from jump like me i want this to be a forever thing you're just gonna want to plan accordingly to what you want to do basically is what i'm trying to say yeah that's it another really important question is how are you going to make this business your business different from others because everybody sells lashes everybody sells lip gloss what are you going to do to catch people's eyes I. me personally i wanted it to be something i loved because i'm so basic i'm so minimal so i was like and my favorite color is orange i'm wearing orange today oh how convenient my website's literally just black and orange and super simple it has the same fonts same design same everything everywhere it's super simple but it's, it's not too plain you know what i'm saying like you can go on there and like have a little fun with it it's not just here's a product right in front of your face buy it i mean i guess that could be convenient but some people like to look i love the looks of websites while i was doing my website i was definitely looking at other people's websites to get some inspiration so if you don't have an idea just look for inspiration just like i did i used to go on pinterest and look at website ideas or i would google website ideas and just look at other people's and i would get inspired by them even though i feel like my website kind of doesn't look like anybody else's like i said i went through a bunch what kind of style are you going for do you want it to be rainbows do you want it to be pink and glittery do you want it to be bold and nasty whatever you want just make sure you put your all into it that's all i gotta say and and obviously you want to think about pricing but it also depends on what kind of quality you have of stuff and I think that is important because you do not want to sell low quality stuff for a high amount honestly my stuff is high quality it is high quality I sell it for high quality prices I don't charge $20 per lash I've looked at other people's prices and was like I don't want to lowball myself but I don't want to make it too high to where people are like I can't afford that they don't even know until they get it if it's really good like it's different for people that come back because they know. They know what my products do, honey. Other than that, though, like, you don't know what you're getting. Like, you could be shopping, like, a long time ago, I used to shop on Fashion Nova. You really don't know what you're getting from Fashion Nova. I mean, now they've gotten better. But back then, 
when Fashion Nova was like super not known at all, you would get stuff from there and you would get it and be like, okay, no. So you wanna make sure that you have a decent price range and it does fall into quality too, to be honest with you. And then you wanna think about the fonts. Like what do you want the fonts on your logo, your website, your product? What do you want your fonts to look like? Do you want them to be bold? Do you want them to look Christmas-like? Or do you want them to be classy and like some cursive and all that stuff? Like whatever you want, I'd suggest to have it everywhere. So if you have cursive on your products, keep cursive on the whole website. I mean, obviously for stuff that's like hard to read. Like you don't wanna put cursive on something and then people be like, um, what does that even say? What's this called? And there's so many different websites for fonts. So I will put down what I use down below. It is called defont.com. I use that for everything. That's actually where I found the font that I have now. And you know what? A logo is so important. It's so important. You want your logo to pop out. You want your logo to be like, damn, that looks nice. Let me get some of that. Cause that's me, honestly. If I see a nice logo, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna be curious. So you want your logo to stand out. I mean, mine is so simple, but still I've went through so many different logos. If I can find every single logo that I've ever had done before this one, I will show you guys. Cause I had a whole different vibe before this. I mean, like I want it to be like neon everywhere and classy and cursive and all this other stuff. And I paid hundreds of dollars to get these logos done and didn't even use them. I'm not complaining. I love my stuff now, but it takes time. Like I was saying, like I did all that just to come to this. And if I would have never done all that, then I probably would have been doing something else and not liked it. So you definitely want to take your time and you definitely want it to be something that you love this was all the other topics that i just talked about and this is all vendors vendor topics we're going to talk about vendors so the website i use to buy all my products is alibaba.com i'll put it on the screen and down below and honestly it's tricky it's really tricky i've probably spent more than a thousand maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred on just samples of stuff just samples but we'll get into that but just know it is very tricky do you want it to be u.s based or international so they do have websites out there for vendors for u.s based but i personally do not know them google is so fundamental i'm just giving you guys my advice <laughs> and i don't use us based i buy my products internationally so i use alibaba.com make sure you read about your vendors all their information what they sell how long they've been on the website for in business see if they have trade assurance or verify suppliers little check mark make sure you read reviews make sure that you do your research on the vendors that you choose that is so important how much are you willing to invest into your company so me personally i'm not going to tell you guys how much i invested but definitely made my profit like definitely made it back which i appreciate you guys for i love you guys and you can start so small and i'm so serious you can start off with 200 dollars of buying products i'm not gonna say samples but product you can start off with buying 200 dollars worth of product and 200 dollars worth of products can get you a lot little do you know you might think like i'm gonna only have 10 start small honestly i'm gonna tell you guys my first batch before i sold completely out of my lashes i only bought 20 each which i felt was good for me i was comfortable and i didn't feel too overwhelmed i didn't feel like it was too much and and it was it was perfect for me honestly and I ended up selling out I didn't sell out right away guys I want to let you guys know that now I did not sell out right away it took probably a couple weeks then you just buy more that kind of gives you an idea of what's selling most and what's selling least so then when you go to get your inventory again you're not buying a bunch of one and then it's just sitting in your house so that's really good too to just get like a minimum to see what goes the fastest so what you want to do on the website is you want to do private label most 90% of places are private label without even telling you you want to shop private label when i first got on the website i would look up everything private label and what private label means is company is manufacturing something for you for you to use for your company basically is what it is you can look up like the direct definition but that's basically what it is so i'm using this company to make my stuff and then they're putting my stuff on there my logos my designs whatever and then sending it to me for me to sell that is what a private label is i suggest it unless you really just have a lot of time on your hands because i know people that use crickets i know people that buy little stickers and just put it on themselves. Me personally, I thought that wasn't gonna look too professional on my, with my business and that's it, I'm just saying. <laughs> I just didn't wanna do that, I wanted it to be directly on. I always ask them, and we're gonna get into questions too, but I always ask them like, is it printed on or is it a sticker? Because you wanna know before you buy it because they won't tell you. Like a lot of places will not tell you exactly what they're talking about. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is negotiating products because that is super important too. There are a lot of companies that when they buy their stuff, they buy it from the same manufacturer. There's hundreds of companies out there that sell the same 
same exact thing but for different prices so you want to first of all shop around i guarantee you'll find at least two different companies with the same products and two you need to negotiate which most prices i've only done lashes and lip gloss and lash applicators i never really had a problem with negotiating because i felt like the prices that they were giving me were super good so i never had to negotiate sometimes i did have to negotiate for samples though because sometimes they'd be like like you'll get a sample i had this company i wanted to get the lash applicator samples not the company i'm with now but a different one i wanted to get a sample with my logo on so this man told me oh i didn't even get i don't even think that i asked for the logo i didn't so he told me that just for the lash applicator sample which lash applicators are so simple it's just <laughs> he tried to charge me $65 because he told me that shipping is 50 plus and I was like, um, yeah, no, sir I'm not paying $65 for something. That's two dollars. I'm not doing it not doing it So therefore I didn't go with them make sure that they're not jipping you is that the word jipping chipping whatever out your mind Some companies will legit try to get you and you got to make sure you can shop around like I said before these lashes I've gotten so many samples of lashes and I just recently threw them away because I was like, why am I keeping them? I mean like it's a cool memory like oh yeah i got these but they weren't my cup of tea so get samples just get some samples make sure that you talk about minimum order quantity which is moq you could just say that for short so a lot of places will sell something super cheap but then their moq will only be five thousand. but you can also negotiate that too i've negotiated that with plenty of companies where they'll say well if you want a logo on your stuff then you have to buy a thousand and i'm like i'm not buying a thousand so i'll go somewhere else and they'll be like okay we could do it for a hundred so make sure that you negotiate always negotiate and if they if they're not folding find somebody Else. because I'm telling you some companies are not legit and they will try to get you out your money and it's not okay it's out there everybody's not nice when you are looking at a vendor make sure that their years of operation is over two years I'm just saying for the simple fact of experience you want to have somebody that knows what they're doing knows what they're talking about and isn't gonna have any mess ups because I ordered from this company samples they sent me two separate lashes I mean in the same box two separate lashes and I sent that to them like you guys sent me two separate lashes they don't even look alike and she's like oh we'll fix it yeah no I'm not going for that I don't don't have time for mess ups so didn't end up going with them their lashes were nice but and like i said earlier make sure that you check the reviews that is super important too because they can have five reviews and me personally i'm not a five review type of person if i see five reviews i'm assuming it's their five friends that they told them to just go do it real quick or it's them just making new emails and doing their own reviews so honestly i look for like 30 plus reviews and i also look in the reviews for the same message and that's crazy because literally yesterday or the day before that i was on the website and i was looking for something i see the same message but it was all different email literally the same exact message so i was like yeah no i'm not going with them so but you never know you could take that risk i'm just personally not taking that risk but when you go on the website there are little filters that you can do which one like i said earlier is trade assurance and then verify supplier let me read off what this means i wrote it down so trade assurance is a free service that protects your orders from payment to delivery i don't know these specifics but they do have links on the websites of what those these two things actually mean because i don't really understand it either and i don't really know how to explain it but i just know that it makes me feel safer so there you go and then verified supplier is it, it just means that they're certified and inspected by um sgs group the company is inspected so it makes me feel better so make sure that you look for that and make sure you check off those two filters and last thing i have to say about vendors is ask them any questions you want i've asked them all types of stuff you can literally ask them anything they would not be operating if it was not for you you can ask them whatever i've asked to see examples so i had got this product that i wanted to try out before i wanted to sell because i want to make sure i like it i asked them beforehand i said before you guys put the logo on my stuff because i don't know what kind of logo you guys are trying to do i want to see it on other people's products i want to see how it looks and they would send me pictures of other people's products with their logos on it and then i would see that it was printed on there it looked all nice and i'd be like okay i mean you can literally ask them any questions that you want you can ask them why is the shipping so much because shipping internationally is expensive i'm not going to lie to you i've probably spent probably a thousand dollars just on shipping alone getting product because it's expensive it's international it's all the way on the other side of the world while it's day right here it's night over there so it's understandable if you ever want to know ask them or if you want to know why is your moq so high why do you charge this much can i get it lowered if i get more can i get 10 cents off you can ask them anything you want negotiate talk but just talk to them make sure you the communication is super open let them know exactly what you want exactly how much you want exactly how you want it to look and that's it that's all i had to say that is all my advice for now let me know if you guys want me to do another video talking about like llc's and websites and stuff i can only speak from my experience i'm not super educated i am educated for my sake but i don't know you guys might want some advice so let me know if 
if you guys like this video down below in the comment section please give this video a thumbs up make sure you follow all my social media on the screen and make sure you go shop at www.shopsoulserenity.com and you can also follow us on instagram and facebook which is shop soul serenity i think that's it i'll see you guys next video